our sport originated from, high school cheerleading. Having pom-poms, saying cheers as loud as you could for your, your high school or your university. A lot of people have a preconceived notion of what we do, and it's not really fair to pair to as a pom-pom girl. All-star cheerleading is not the same. We don't have pom-poms, we are the team. Cheerleading Worlds is a very, it's very elitist in that not everyone can go. It's only for levels five and six. So for most of these athletes, that's the culmination of, of their entire existence in this industry is saying that they got to go to Worlds. Last year's performance was single-handedly the most exciting moment of my coaching career. That was the first time in our club's history where we actually hit clean. Going out there and executing all of your skills without any deductions. There's a lot of pressure on the shoulders of these athletes because our gym has a reputation and we've always qualified for the world championships since we've been around 10 years. So what we're working towards right now is Cheerfest. What it means for my world's team is their chance to get a bid to the 2017 Cheerleading World Championships in Orlando, Florida. There's 17 athletes on our team and seven of them are returning athletes, which means that the remaining 10 are brand new to this team. And half of these athletes are teenagers. They do drive me crazy with how much they talk. I mean, bless their hearts, they, they mean well, but... Oh, I'm Montana, I'm 16 years old. I'm a flyer and this is my third time on a world's team. I'm Denisa, I'm 13 years old. I'm a flyer and this is my first real cheer team. Well, when I was young, I used to watch all the Bring It On movies. I knew all the cheers. One day my mom saw an ad in the paper about absolute cheer. That's kind of how I got here. I started gymnastics when I was probably two years old. But then once I got around the age 11 to 12 years old, I fractured my, my spine and in my L4, L5. Not even a year later, I fractured my back again. So then we went back to the doctors and he said, okay, if you go back to gymnastics and you get a fracture again, then you will have to get back surgery. So we did not want back surgery. So Miss Sonia gave us the offer of me being on a world's team. We asked my doctor and he said, sure, we'll give it a try and here I am. The fact that the cheer came into her life really helped her. What we kept saying to her when the gymnastics was taken away, felt like her world was ending, but it's a new chapter in your life now. It prepares them, I believe, for the world, and to me, that's very important. Okay. You missed your transition to get to Pyramid. You guys have all the way up until 10 o'clock to make it up to yourselves, not to me. Ready and five, six, seven, eight. First, I got rhymes in abundance, style over substance. If it's what you like, take the mic from a thumbprint. Coughing up stuff, mark the cup with enough stuff to make a mountain top. Rough. See, I'm about to rock this. Open them up like locksmiths. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got your mission. As a coach, things that go through my mind. Are they still having fun? Am I stressing them out? Are they gonna burn out? Is someone gonna get injured? I mean, it worries me. Three, four, four, catch five. Out of control. You all right? Okay. 
I remember one day I was, I was 24 or 25 at the time. It was the last five minutes of practice and I was quite sick and I had to transition from the back of the floor all the way up to the front and I blew out my knee. That was a really tough um, moment for me. Sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. Because <laughs> um, you never really think that you're gonna wake up one day and be told that you can't do something that you love so much, you know? So um, I don't think I really believed it, that I was hurt. It was excruciating pain. Um, I blew my knee out, uh, my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus. It, it didn't upset me that I ended my career, but it upset me that I didn't have a choice in how it ended. Your health is number one. So a lot of you guys are experiencing pains, soreness, injuries. You have to be really honest and forthright about some of the limitations that you have about your injuries and you're just trying to push because you're like, oh, bid, bid, bid. But if you push yourself past pain, bid won't happen for you. At the end of the day, health is number one. Your body is the only one that you have. Um, go get some water, guys. So like, my biggest concern is how chaotic everything looks for that final structure. I don't know, I just feel like there's so many things that we need to work on and we don't have enough hours in a day. These athletes are giving up their social development as teenagers because they're spending three to four hours, three or four, sometimes even five days a week to be able to master some of the skills that we're asking them to do. Sonia is tough, but it's because she knows what we want and she pushes us to get there. She knows that because she's being strict, we know that we have to be um, on our best behavior and get stuff done. She can be very strict, very tough, very dead on at practice, but when it comes to the end, we all know she loves us all. I think that this year is probably the hardest that I've ever had. I'm trying to turn them into level five athletes in as little as one month. It is a huge risk. Bye. See you later. See you tomorrow. You're till 10 every night this week, Dana? This sport is more than just a hobby. It takes so much time, commitment. It's taken over our life, literally. Um, there's competitions in town. There's competitions out of town. Um, three practices a week. Um, tumbling practice, you name it. So lots of stuff is missed. Yeah, it's huge commitment. just trying to schedule if you need to be there at 1.30, depending what the weather is like tomorrow, it's better that we leave minimum at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours earlier. I'll be so happy if we make it to Worlds because that means I can finally have my dream of actually going to Disneyland again. I really want to go on, can we stay an extra day? Oh, if like... we go, we're probably going to go a week early. I still. How's everyone feeling about this weekend? Are you guys hitting stuff? Mm, kind of. I would say we're almost ready. Not quite there yet, but we will be with more practice. I want to make Worlds to make my team proud and to make Coach Sonia proud because they have all done so much that I feel like I need to do this for them. We'll see if we can throw you in tomorrow. Okay, that, that's the plan, right? Okay, and you just have to stay off of it. We've got one out right now. Setbacks are comebacks, okay? Get angry, do your stunt. Let's go. You guys got it. Yes! Come on, 
Danica. Get it. This is stunning. It's stunning. Good girl. That's it. One, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three. Good. Yes. Get it up. Yes. Thank you so much. Do that amplified tomorrow. So this is the competition that they've been working all year for. It's the most important. In the past, we've always had the nod from the judges to go to Worlds at this competition. So I think there's a certain level of anxiety from the kids that we have right now. There's always a chance that they're not good enough. To win that bid and to compete at Worlds means that we've reached our goal to hit that floor and to walk out there and actually do a routine like means the world to everyone. Cheer Fest will be my first competition of me trying to get a bid. If we don't nail our stunts and nail this routine, we will go home. As a team right now, I need you to go out there and show your personality and let the judges fall in love with you the way that I have. Go out there and sparkle and shine. One, two, three, four, 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 Okay, I don't know exactly what went wrong. It started off with so much confidence and potential. These are the cards that we were dealt. In life, there are no do-overs for yesterday. There's no do-overs for two minutes and 30 seconds ago. There's only what happens next.
It's not the end of our journey, you guys. I love this group more than any other group that I've had. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't get it. I'm sorry. You'll get stronger. Okay? It's not the end. Okay? All right, hands in. Just move on. Okay, Fab's on three. One, two, three. Fabs! Cheerfest was not the run that we wanted it to be. It was a failure. I blamed myself and I was experiencing what we as like cheerleading coaches call a cheer hangover. The difference this time for the first time is that I was utterly shattered. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. You need a receipt? No, I'm good, thank you. It does make a person go, is it worth it? Well, the answer is that it's always worth it. Um, it. It makes me who I am. I flourish when I see other people gives 110%. The big lesson is when you fail or you don't get a result that you want, you can be sad for a little bit. You can be upset and emotional, but you have to pick yourself up and put your whole, like put your heart on the floor and just leave it there. And if you don't get the result that you want, can you still look at the year and say, I learned something? And my hope is that their answer is yes. Cheer has made me care about people a lot more because when I did gymnastics, since it wasn't a team sport, I wasn't used to team bonding or caring about people a lot, if that makes sense. But now that I am doing a team sport, I realize that, whoa, I have a whole lot of people around me that care about me so much and that will stick with me through thick and thin. So I think that's one of the biggest things I've realized. I cannot imagine my life without cheer. I don't know, I know that I won't be in the sport forever, but yeah, I just can, I can't imagine. Cheer makes me feel more confident about myself and it actually makes me stronger. I don't think that I could have imagined my life without some form of gymnastics or cheerleading or dance, because that's how I grew up. I literally spent my whole life doing that. And so to spend my life doing something else that I'm not passionate about is just, it sounds, so boring. <laughs>